Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the Purple Panda microphone. This is it right here. It comes with a long cord. There is an extension to it. So the primary microphone starts here, is about that long, if you can see it here. It then attaches into the extension, which I have going under the table here and back up and attaching to the camera. Normally I put this under my shirt, but I wanted to be able to show this so that you could see how this setup works. Well, when I first got this, I was excited. It sounded great. And I recorded my first few videos and found this really annoying buzzing sound in the background. I'll go ahead right now and play a little clip for you so you can see what this sounded like. You hear the background buzzing noise? That's what I'm talking about. Now, I played with this for quite a while trying to figure out what the problem was. I downloaded the documentation for the microphone and it gave me several suggestions, most of which did not work. So let's go through a few of those for a second here. They suggested that I turn off Bluetooth and NFC on my phone. I did and it made no difference. With it on, it made no difference. I can only assume that maybe if I had a device nearby that was using that method of communication, maybe that could have caused interference, but it didn't make a difference considering I wasn't using those. So the next thing they suggested was to ensure that this cord that I was talking about that is connected to the phone was not crossing any other wires. Now I was using this in a tripod that had a light on it. So I made sure that those two wires, the wire for the light and the wire for the microphone were completely separate going in different directions. That too made no difference. Now I did not try to see whether crossing made it worse and uncrossing made it better, but the buzzing still did remain. Another thing they suggested was to ensure that these connections were tight. So that looks like this right here. You can see that there is a male on this side and a female on this side. They said if those get loose, one of two things could happen. Either one, your voice could be intermittent or just not working, not recording, or two, that could potentially cause a buzzing sound. But that wasn't my issue either. Now I will add that there are a couple of places here. There is this connection. There is another one just before my phone, but because I am recording, the camera is actually a Samsung uh, cell phone, I have an adapter on the other end that connects into the USB-C, so I thought maybe it could be that. But after messing with each of these pieces, I found that none of those were the issue either. So finally, I got down to what the issue was. Now, let me go ahead and pick this up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is the mounting that I was using. The phone goes here, the light is here, and here is the cord that I was referring to. Turns out the problem was this light bulb itself. When the phone was here, the cord came out on this side and the proximity of the cord and the phone to this light when it was on was the culprit. So what I ended up doing was I bought a second tripod and it has the phone mount, but it does not have the light. And my intention was I'll try this out, see if it works, and then I can still use the other one, but purely for lighting purposes. So now I have one to light me up and I can move it around the room wherever I need it, and the other one to hold my camera or my phone so that I can record these videos. What you're hearing right now is my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus connected to the Purple Panda on a tripod mounted by itself with no lighting whatsoever. With the lighting on, but on a different tripod elsewhere, the buzz doesn't happen. The buzz obviously doesn't happen when I have it mounted like this. And the thing that really caught my attention and made me realize this was, I used my phone to create a recording with the microphone just as a test, completely independently. I was just standing there holding the phone, having the microphone attached, and then I listened to the video and it was completely gone. So I knew at that point it was the mounting that I had with the light on it. Something about that was causing the problem. 
So if you're a new YouTuber and you have bought one of these and you have heard this buzzing sound, don't worry, it is not necessarily the microphone that is the problem. It is not necessarily bad, you don't have to send it back. Try out all of these things and pay special attention to your camera equipment being really close to a light source. That light source itself may very well be the problem. If so, simply get this cord completely away from the light source, including any adapters that you're using and the camera equipment itself. If you do that, hopefully the problem will go away for you as well. Thank you for watching. I know this was a quick one today. I hope this was helpful because I know that even though this was a simple fix, this caused such a headache for me. I had to use Audacity in order to remove a lot of the background noise. And you may notice in some of my videos where Audacity did a good job removing the background noise, but it also removed a little bit of extra. So the sound wasn't as great as it could have been. I hope this can prevent this problem from happening to some of you. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and click the bell icon if you'd like to get notified when I post them. That's all for today. See you next time.